हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल इन टूडेज क्लास आई टीच यू एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग लैब दैट मीन्स इन टूडेज लैब ऑल्सो यू डेवलप ऑन सॉफ्टवेयर टू कंप्यूट टेलर सीरीज दैट इज साइंस सीरीज मीन्स लुक एट दिस Taylor series expansion. Now you need to write one program. That means you need to develop one program to evaluate this Taylor series. In order to solve this Taylor series, we need to have the x value. Not only the x value, we need to know the number of terms also. Because there will be no end for this series. I hope everyone knows about this series in mathematics. sin of x equals to how much sin of x equals to how much means you need to tell me the summation of these terms in order to tell the summation of these terms you have to calculate the terms how to calculate the terms to calculate the terms we need to have x value first not only the x value how many terms you calculate first term second term third four five six seven eight nine no end for the terms that's why to solve this taylor series we need to have the x value not only the x value we need to know the number of terms also that's why we say it as taylor series approximation that's why whenever we run the program the program will ask you to enter the value of n as well as x n means number of terms x means x value How many terms? Seven terms. What is the x value? Two. Sum of the terms is so and so. If the number of terms is phi, x value is phi u. Sum of the terms will be so and so. This one you have to solve. But you can see in the Taylor series. First time x is plus. Next term is minus. Next one is plus. Next term is minus. Okay. First term is positive. Second term negative, not negative. Whatever you get, uh, that one uh, second term will be subtracted in the first term. We get one result. That one we add. Again, uh, this one we subtract. Again, this one we add, subtract, add, subtract, add, subtract, add, subtract. Once you have to add, once you have to subtract. This is also very challenging for us. And see the Taylor series. X raised to how much? X simply X has been written here. X has been written means x raised to one, x raised to three, x raised to five, x raised to seven, x raised to nine, x raised to eleven. Oh, we need odd numbers. Okay, see the factorial. X raised to one upon one factorial. We are not written because x divided by one will be x only. That's why. X raised to three upon three factorial. X raised to five upon five factorial. X raised to seven upon seven factorial. very challenging for us is that how to get odd numbers how to make one addition and subtraction these two logics are important not only how to get odd numbers not only how to make one addition and subtraction how to calculate sum and how to calculate factorial also see here to calculate the factorial program has been written to find the sum expression has been written sum equals to sum plus x raised to This is for plus or minus divided by factorial. See, you can see the same term here. Already we know how to find the sum of some values or terms in uh, C language. First time we assume sum equals to zero. First time we assume sum equals to zero. See here, sum equals to zero. Sum equals to previous sum plus the term. Term means x is to three upon three factorial. I hope everyone knows. P O W is mathematical function. X ra X comma n means x raised to n. But every time I need odd numbers. How to get odd numbers? This expression you have to remember. Two into i plus one. How to get odd numbers? Two into i plus one. You have to substitute the i value as zero, one, two, three, four, like that. Assume that first time i is zero. First time i will be zero. Next one, two, three, four. Okay. Two into zero. Zero, zero plus one, 
one. Okay. Next. Next what happens? I value will be one. Two into one, two. Two plus one, three. Understood? Next, two we get. Two two is a four. Four plus one, five. Next three. Next I will be three. Getting all of you. Substitute the I values. I explain it slowly. First time I is zero. Two zero is a zero. Zero plus one, one. Next I will be two, two two is a four, four uh, sorry I is one, two one is a two, two plus sorry I is one, two one is a two, two plus one three, two two is a four, four plus one five, two three is a six, six plus one seven, two four is a eight, eight plus one nine. This is what how we are getting the odd numbers. That's how I written here x raised to odd numbers. P O W into bracket. X comma two into i plus one. That means we get x raised to odd numbers divided by factorial. That is what we are calculating here. How to make ones ones addition and subtraction? Minus one raised to i. Minus one raised to i. See here. Minus one raised to i. I value is first time zero. Minus one raised to zero is how much? Minus one raised to zero is any number raised to zero is one plus one. Next. Minus one raised to one, minus one. Next, minus one raised to two, plus one. Minus one raised to three, minus one. Minus one raised to, getting all of you. Minus one raised to four, one. Next, minus one. Any number raised to odd number is minus one. Any number raised to even number is. Any number raised to, uh, means minus one raised to any even number is plus one. This one we multiply with the term. This one we multiply with the value. Because of which we are able to make one's addition, one's subtraction. I hope you understood. Minus one raised to i. First time i will be zero. Number of terms is seven. Suppose number of terms is seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Means we generate up to six numbers. Those numbers only we are using here. I hope you are getting. Very good. First time, what you have to do here? We are using mathematical function P O W as well as sine sine of x. So we have added math logic here. Why we added math logic here? Because we are using sine function and P O W. Now first, I read the aim for you. Develop a program to calculate sine series using Taylor series approximation. But see the condition. Compare your result with built-in library function. Now we do the summation of these terms. That will be our result. See here, sum of these terms will give us our result. Our result is sum. Compare now whether your result is right or wrong. How do you compare? In math or H, sine function is available already. To that sine function, you have to pass just x value. Assume that x value is 0.5. We get the result from machine. Your result and machine result both must be same. Then only your result is correct. See here. That's why this is our result. Zero point one nine eight double six nine. Result by using built-in function is also same. What is the difference between this and this? Zero. If you subtract these two values within one another, we need to get zero. Difference between machine result means this is our result, machine result, and built-in function is zero. Means our program is right. Run the same program five terms, and x value is point five. Result calculated by us is 0.479. Result given by machine is also so and so. If you subtract the values within one another, we need to get zero. We are getting zero. That's why how many printf has been used here? Three. This is our result. Sine of x is machine result, and this is our result minus machine's result. Program is over. Very simple program. I explain it slowly. How many variables we need? X we have to read. That is float type, and sum we have to make. That's why sum is zero. And n we need number of terms integer. I we need j we don't need. Sorry, we don't want j. Then fact we need. We have to calculate the factorial. Enter the value of n and x, and number of terms will be stored in n. X will be stored in x. What we do here? First time i is zero. Next one. Next two. Next three. Next four. Next five. Next six. Like this we get. 
first time fact is 1 in order to find factorial of any value product equals to 1 I told in many programs here I take fact equals to 1 first time j will be how much 2 into 0 0 0 plus 1 1 first time j is 1 <coughs> find the factorial of 1 1 is greater than 0 yeah 1 into 1 how much 1 factorial of 1 is <coughs> 1 j minus 1 0 0 is greater than 0 no what is the factorial of 1 1 that one only we use here for first term x raised to 0 means 1 x raised to 1 x raised to how much x raised to 1 is x <coughs> minus 1 raised to 0 is positive divided by factorial first term is positive divided by factorial I hope you understood next uh, I will be 1 again fact will be 1 fact is 1 I is 1 second time i is 1 means 2 into 1 2 2 plus 1 how much 3 we calculate the factorial of 3 how to calculate the factorial of 3 3 is greater than 0 yeah 2 is greater than 0 yeah 1 is greater than 1 no means here we are subtracting j value 3 2 1 first time fact is 1 1 into j 1 into 3 3 3 into 2 6 6 into 1 6 6 1 is greater than 0 yes 6 into 1 6 we calculate the factorial of 3 uh, 3 what is the factorial of 3 6 that one only we use here next i becomes 2 fact is again 1 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 1 5 5 is greater than 0 yeah 5 is greater than 0 yeah 4 3 2 1 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 120 we get that one here like this what we do we calculate the factorial that one denominator part we use in the numerator part x raised to odd numbers that one we multiply with minus 1 raised to i this is what the term that one we add into sum here in the bracket float has been written why this is explicit type conversion uh, if both the values are integer suppose numerator part is also integer denominator part is also integer even then we get whole number as a result whichever we don't want forcibly we convert that value into uh, floating point number by using this one I teach you that topic afterwards type conversion forcibly we convert no need to use twice convert the numerator part into float or convert the denominator part into float to get the accurate value if you use one of them that is ok no problem at all like this we find the sum like this uh, Taylor series will be evaluated sum is our result that one we print result uh, by using built-in function sign of percentage of equals to percentage of this is for x this is for sign of x that's are getting sign of so and so equals to so and so difference is subtracted value I hope everyone has understood if you won't then please watch the video again definitely you understand thank you have a nice day take care and in journal in the new page write this aim in the next page write the program in the new page write these outputs and show to the teachers and don't worry if you have journal write it otherwise in observation notebook you can write and show to the teachers thank you have a nice day take care send replies to my email id or write the comments on video Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.